All right, Nathan, I'm gonna say it. I think that this new 2013 Mazda CX-9 is one of the best, if not the best, seven passenger crossover on the market today. I gotta give it up to Mazda because they got rid of the worst part of this vehicle, which was that geeky smile. Nobody liked it. The new details, the new look, it's mean. Even the little details, it's cool and it's modern. Well done. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Check this out, can you see this? The chrome strip that runs inside the headlight cover. That's a hell of a nice looking detail. Kind of gives it an angry look. Brand new front end. The silhouette is pretty much the same as it was before, so the real changes are in the front and the rear. No, 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 Nathan. Don't forget about those massive 20 inch wheels. Yep, look at those. Those are nice, huh? Optional and they're aluminum. Check it out over here. All the lines are pretty much the same. I think at the very least, you could say that the belt line looks like it's moved, but it really hasn't. And then of course, back here, my favorite place, because you know I like to slap it, and this is really good looking. It's even smoked out over there. For the most part, it's a clean job. So while the exterior may be new, under the hood, you have the same 3.7 liter V6 that puts out 273 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. Now it's mated to a, yay, traditional six-speed automatic transmission, which means the fuel economy isn't as good as, say, the Nissan Pathfinder. This gets 18 miles to the gallon combined, but you know what? I'll take the automatic every day of the week. Now, of course, the any test of a seven passenger vehicle is how easy or hard it is to get in the third row. And Nathan will demonstrate. <laughs> you are a bull in the china shop, Nathan. I got it. There is one cool thing. Uh, there's not as much room back here as there is in, say, the Nissan Pathfinder or a GMC Arcadia. I can tell you that now, but... These seats do slide back and forth and they have a memory setting, so when you slide it to allow me in, it'll go back to wherever you left it. Not all of those do it. With that said, with the seat all the way back, there ain't no way that an adult can fit back here. Once again, great for a trained monkey. <laughs> Let's face it, Nathan, these are people haulers. Yep. So much of this review is gonna be about hauling people. And for me, the middle row is just fine. I've got plenty of leg room, I've got plenty of headroom. Um, it's scalloped back here. I am missing the larger sunroof that some of the uh, competitors have, but otherwise it's very comfortable. Yeah, there is something else too. These seats will recline, but in order to do that, you have to reach over your back and make them come back. Now, here's the thing. If you're driving along and you want to recline, that's not very comfortable. But as a plus, my big tushy fits nicely on the seat. Yeah, and you can get your toes underneath the front seat. There's also heating and air conditioning controls back here, so you can control the climate. Yeah, but these seats are not heated. And we do have cup holders, a cubby hole, and you know, let's face it, we fit, dude. We certainly do. And that's really good for a car that topped out like this one cost $40,000, because in this segment, that is not a lot. No, no, actually, you got a lot for your money. For 2013, Mazda has redone the interior of the vehicle. It is more modern, more contemporary, but it's still a sea of black. It is, and there's a lot of cheap switch gear here, which unfortunately Mazda has to cut corners somewhere, but the one place that I really wish they didn't is with this screen here. Navigation and whatnot, it's tiny. It's one of the smallest I've seen. But having said that, you get a backup camera, you get a power lift gate, you get uh, blind spot monitoring. Yeah, yeah, which is all well and good, but I still think that sometimes when you just change something like this, it can just wake up the whole interior. Now, Nathan, there is one thing we have yet to do. We gotta drive it! No. 
Uh, we have to do that too, but we have to find out if you fit in the way back. Oh man. <laughs> of course, the question that many of our viewers are always highly interested in is, does Nathan fit? Especially in a people carrier. So Nathan, do you fit? The only way I can fit is by putting this down. It's a little tight back here, especially with the way the back slants. Yeah, ah! You give up some uh, room for style. Yeah, a little bit, but check this out. Nice little cargo area here. Not bad at all. That is nice. So basically there's... Uh, you okay? Yeah, yeah, a little, little wrench at the back. There's there. a lot of room if you put the third row down. With the third row up, why don't you put it up so people can see. You've got enough room for groceries. The basics. And a purse dog. Yeah, yeah, maybe one golf bag, but not one Nathan. All right, Nathan, are you up for a little game? Sure. All right, let's see how many cars you can come up with from the top of our minds that this competes with. I'm going to start with Pathfinder. This thing sits in the middle of everything, so I'm going to say Acura MDX. Too expensive. But it's close. It's no, close no, dynamically. No, 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 no. Keep it in the same kind of market segment. Come on, you can do better. Okay, okay, then I'll say the, um, oh, the, how about the Highlander from Toyota? And the Honda Pilot. Okay, how about the GMC, what is it, the Acadia? Yep, Ford Explorer. Ford Explorer. Oh, Nissan Pathfinder. I said that already. Oh, no, the point is, there's a lot of cars that this competes with. <laughs> All right, Nathan, full disclosure, what car do you own? I own a Mazda. A Mazda what, Nathan? I own a Mazda 5 to haul the kitties. So everything that Nathan says... You have to take with a grain of salt because I am a Mazda fan. I like the little scrappy company, and you know what? They do make cars that are a lot of fun to drive. That you could take to the bank. All right, so how is this one to drive? Excellent. It, this is the one thing that they do really well. They know how to dial in good steering and this vehicle drives smaller than it is. So in other words, from the inside, it feels like I'm driving something the size of a CX-5 or there's now discontinued CX-7. Really good, good feedback on the steering. Best of all, when I tell it to turn, it does exactly what I want it to. It doesn't slosh and lean. It's actually kind of fun. And I think that's the point of this whole review. This, to me, is the sportiest car in the segment. It actually handles like a sporty, I'm not going to say sports, a sporty car, and it drives smaller. If you're looking for a plush, comfortable kind of cruiser, this ain't it. But if you're looking for something that'll put a semi smile on your face. Yeah, I'm getting a semi just driving this thing. Smile, hey. smile. Oh, that too. And how's the uh, all wheel drive work? Today, obviously, it's <laughs> snowy. Yeah, you know what? When we, when Rome and I were filming the zero to 60, I went over one area way too fast around a corner, finishing the zero to 60 time. And any other vehicle that I would have been in, I would have panicked. In this one, I was about to panic, and it just went right around. I could feel the rear end kick in. It was a little late, but when it kicked in, everything was smooth, and there's really good adhesion. You got the key. That would suck. <laughs> Alrighty. We're lining up. Now, this 0 to 60 is going to be on some relatively wet roads. A little bit of sand, a little bit of snow and slush. But I am confident that all wheel drive will see me through. I'm going to rev it a little bit too. Uh, let me turn off the AC. All right. Let's go, 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 go. High altitude, normally aspirated engine. Come on! Oh, 
not as good as I thought it would be. All right. First run. Actually, it's the third run. You should know that we occasionally run these things a few times, but first real run, 9.24. Nine point two two. It's not horrible for high altitude, and it's on par with an awful lot of vehicles that it competes with. But it's still not. I still think I can get it a little bit lower, but I think that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Here we go. Nine point two two. All right, Nathan. On the uh, TFL scale of buy it. Lease it, rent it, or forget it. What do you give this Mazda CX-5? Now you're not going to believe this, folks, but I'm going to give it a lease it, not a buy it. And I'll tell you why. Because other vehicles out there, like the Acadia, like the Nissan Pathfinder, have a smoother highway ride. Okay. This one, especially with the 20-inch wheels, the ride isn't as smooth as some of those other ones. And it's not quite as quiet either. So, for me, I love it. I'd buy it. But, for a lot of you out there who like a quiet, very numb ride, this ain't it. I'd buy it, that's why I'm gonna give it a buy it. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time on the Fast Lane Car. Remember, subscribe for a new video every single day. And of course, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Ciao. Nathan, my man, we have some fresh snow here. First tracks, it's like you're skiing in the CX-9. You think it'll make it through? Yeah, I mean, deep snow, that's what this thing was built for. And the all-wheel drive system, I think, is pretty damn good. All right, give it a shot. Let's see how it does. You got it. enough you know last time i was here i was here in the x5 and i could barely get out of this oh the bmw yeah <laughs> easy enough it the rear end got a little bit out of shape and then immediately it kicked in took me right out and we, you know we're talking about yeah, six inches or so yeah and these are all season tires so they're not dedicated snow tires yeah it's good i mean if you're thinking about a ski car that hauls the family to your favorite ski area or you're just living someplace where it snows It'll be good. And if you have a little bit of lead in your pencil and you like having a vehicle, that's fun. See you guys later.